What's going on guys, Jada Black here. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. Well, it looks like Meta, AKA Facebook, has canceled the talk show of Jada Pinkett Smith that she co-hosted with her mother and her daughter. Now, what's very ironic about this is that this is the same show that exposed how bad her marriage to Will Smith really was. Not only that, it really also embarrassed Will Smith. And now that Meta, AKA Facebook, has shut this show down, I think it, it, it just, I, all you can do is LOL. Because this woman dragged her whole family's business through the mud in order to promote this show. I don't know how much she was getting paid for it. We're gonna get into it. But you know, Facebook is, is having some cutbacks like a lot of these corporations are. And it's funny how they went straight for her show. Cause you know, Facebook was trying to compete with streaming services. They were actually paying creators to make shows like her. I believe Tom Brady even had a reality show on Facebook. Now, and, and this is, I'm telling y'all right now, to me, I, I chuckled when I saw this because this woman, Jada, sacrificed her family, her husband's reputation. You know, this started the whole Will Smith slap to me. I think this started it. I think once he was publicly embarrassed with this particular interview that he did with his wife, I think things went downhill from there. And I think that's where the slap happened. I think Will Smith, his ego, I think his ego is what made him do what he did with Chris Rock. And that was because of what happened on this woman's talk show. I don't know what Jada is going to do after this. Um, we're going to get into it, but I, I just think that you know, Jada is very self-absorbed. Uh, she has yet to defend or not saying defend, but to support her husband uh, for the slap. She has yet to do that. She doesn't feel like she has to do that. This woman is very self-entitled. Uh, I don't understand why she is with Will Smith if she doesn't want to be with him, because that's what it is. Now, maybe it's a money situation. She doesn't want to lose money. You know, the kids are older now, uh, but it's clear this woman was very unhappy for a very long time. And this show was a way for her to feel important again. Now, this is probably the cancellation of her Facebook show is going to make her even more miserable <laughs> than she already is. And Will Smith is trying to regain what he lost from his career, but it's going to be very difficult. He's fighting an uphill battle. So let's get into this article from Variety. He says, amid broad cost cutting moves, Meta, aka Facebook, is shutting down the facebook watch originals group whose small slate of shows include the breakout hit red table talk hosted by jada pinkett smith variety has confirmed a meta response uh, representative confirmed that the company is shutting its facebook watch original groups but declined to further uh to provide further comment um they're shutting it down because they can't afford it and they weren't able to find a way to, I guess, make money off these shows. The news was first reported by Deadline. None of the Facebook Watch originals will be returning for new seasons. Moving forward, Meta's entertainment team is focused on creating virtual reality experiences in Meta Horizon Worlds that can be accessed across Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. Uh, they want to create surrogates. If you don't know what surrogates is, it's a movie from the mid-2000s. With the shutdown of Facebook Watch Originals, Mina, head of development and programming for the group, is leaving the company. <laughs> Mina joined Meta, then called Facebook in 2017 after serving as MTV's head of scripted development at Meta. Mina reported to Ricky Van Veen, VP of Creative Strategy. It's funny how Facebook went from just being a way to message your friends and family, right? old school mates to creating content <laughs> and failing at it. <laughs> Mina's exit comes as Meta is cutting 10,000 jobs across the company, coming after it laid off 11,000 staffers at the end of 2022. On Wednesday, Meta announced the first quarter 2023 earnings that beat Wall Street's expectations. That's because they fired a bunch of people. As its revenue grew 3% in 
for the period after analysis had forecast a decline. Uh, uh, analyst, excuse me. Uh, Facebook Watch original started out with a mix of scripted and unscripted shows, but the company shifted entirely to unscripted fair is the fair in recent years they had this is where uh lavar ball had his reality show years back it was on facebook his current shows include red table talk steve harvey talk show steve on watch a revival of his daytime show after it was dropped by nbc other facebook watch shows shepherd by mina included a docuseries style shows from gen z star jojo Sweet, uh, siwa Yara Shahidi and Becky G. Red Table Talk series is produced by Westbrook Studios, co-founded by Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. The company is said to be looking for a new distributor now that Facebook Watch deal is done. The daytime Emmy winning talk show featured Pinkett Smith, daughter Willow Smith and mother Adrian Gammy Banfield Norris. Red Table Talk has 11 million followers on Facebook and spawned an active Facebook discussion group with 600,000 members. Westbrook, Westbrook uh, also produced a spinoff Red Table Talk, the Estefans, uh, featuring Gloria Estefan, her daughter Emily, and her niece Lily. For the Facebook Watch team, the strategy from the beginning was to produce video programming that tapped into the social fabric of Facebook. As Van Veen said in 2018, uh, i.e. generate communities of people talking about and sharing the episode's execs also hoped that the originals would encourage other content creators to adopt Facebook Watch. Meta's entertainment content is now centered on Meta Horizon Worlds, a free app for Meta Quest VR headsets. Uh, the, company has, uh, the company has launched VR specials and series including Notorious B.I.G. Skies of Limit, a VR concert experience in celebration of Biggie's 50th birthday. The Shacktacular Spectacular, a New Year's Eve countdown special hosted by Shaquille O'Neal, surrounded uh, Meta's first VR comedy special produced by Just for Laughs, featuring comedians including Pete Holmes and Nikki Glasser. And Eli Roth's Hunted House Trick VR Treat, starring a Vanessa Hutchins and Be My, a Valentine's VR Slasher, a VR horror experience starring Peyton List. Earlier this month, Meta launched the Peacock app on MetaQuest in partnership with NBC Universal, marking the first time the streaming service is available on a VR headset. Meta's shutdown of Facebook Watch Originals comes after the tech companies have similarly retreated. Snapchat, sh Snapchat shuttered its original group last summer as part of a broader cost-cutting move while YouTube folded most of his original productions while maintaining a slate of kids content and programming from its Black Voices Fund. So basically, Facebook, is, just like all these other companies, are looking to cut costs. BuzzFeed is basically going out of business. Uh, you got Lionsgate, you got Roku, you got EA, you got Warner Music Group, NPR, the CW that made a lot of cuts to their shows, Amazon, Meta, Take-Two Interactive, Sirius XM, CNET, Showtime, News Corp, Yahoo, Disney, PayPal, Dot Dash Meredith, Washington Post, and Reddit. I'm still trying to figure out how to make money from Reddit, but... um. This is going on everywhere. A lot of these companies are cutting costs. Um, look at, you know, BuzzFeed, 15%, Lionsgate, 3%, Roku, just 200, EA, 800, Warner Music, 200. So that wasn't that bad. CW, we don't know the numbers. Amazon, 9,000. It's funny how you got Amazon, which is a very profitable company. They're laying off 9,000 people from all their failed ventures. Meta, Failed Ventures, they land off 10 people, 10,000 people. Uh, Disney, 7,000. 
CNET 50% of their workforce. So this is what this is going to become the norm, people. And the fact that she got her, her, her show cut, I don't want to get too much into that. Y'all can look for yourself. Um, look at the article. But I want to talk about Jada. Jada, how does it feel to know that nobody's going to pick that show up unless you go straight to YouTube? You can go live on YouTube. You can get your super chat and members up. You could probably make good money on YouTube. Now, if she's looking for a contract, I don't think she's going to get that for that show. For them to cut that show lets me know it's not profitable. Now, maybe they've cut a, a lot of their originals across the board, but Facebook Watch was never going to be the streaming giant that they thought it was. Even though Facebook has a strong, you know, foundation as far as their uh, friend, you know, as far as what the original purpose of it was, this whole meta, you know, they went and bought Instagram. They're, they're got all these ventures that they're getting into. They all have failed one by one. And eventually they were going to go for those original shows. And the thing is this, I think that Jada sacrificed her husband's reputation, her family's name in order to build that show and only for that show to get canceled. Now, again, the show could be picked up again. This ain't the end of the road, but you know, Facebook is a big platform. Is she going to go straight to Twitter? Is she going to post it? I don't know if they can do that. Is she, is she going to go to rumble? You know, <laughs> it all shout out to rumble. I have a rumble, but I just think that this is the, the irony of this, you know, how much she had to put her business out here in order to make that show pop. You know, that show didn't pop unless they were able to throw somebody from the family under the bus. That's how it seemed. Right. That's how it seemed. I think this show lost steam. I think this, after the whole Will Smith thing peaked, I think that's when people genuinely lost interest in this show. I think that show was done pretty much after that because you can't go any further than that. That that whole interview with her and Will Smith went very viral. I don't think she's going to be able to duplicate that again. And I just don't think the interest is there. But hell, YouTube is an open platform. She can probably move the show there right go live there um it may be beneath her standards you know maybe she thought you know facebook is facebook you know i want to be there but you know we'll see let me understand the comments below your thoughts like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll see y'all next one <laughs>